All right, well, today you can see I'm under my deck here in the back of my house, and it's a bit of a tight fit uh, that I have to get under here every time that I need to put the hose on or off the water spigot or even turn the water on and off under here. So I've got an idea uh, on how to improve this, so that's what today's video is going to be about. All right, so here's my Craftsman Jigsaw. I've had this uh, for quite a long time. Uh, gosh, 15 or 20 years, maybe. So get the blade out. And blade installed. Now let's take a look at what we're going to do here. So here's where the... Um, support uh, beams are under the deck, uh, right in between uh, where the water uh, spigot is and, and the hose there. So the first thing to do will be uh, use the jigsaw to open up the deck uh, safely uh, while wearing safety glasses. Now I do advocate for using the right tool for the right job and th there may be better saw options, but uh, this is what I had uh, readily available. So. This is just how I'm going to uh, cut open uh, the deck here. Now that was a satisfying drop. Obviously, using the jigsaw, uh, it was hard to get a straight cut there, so I'm going to trim up both sides and make this a lot uh, cleaner on the cuts here. So we've got both sides marked, and I went ahead and cut these uh, off camera, so here's the... Uh, improved look, uh, much better uh, trimmed up now. So I'm also using a spare piece of deck board so that I can cut a uh, flush piece that will uh, fit for the access point. So I've got a hole opened up there uh, that we'll be able to use to pull this uh, up anytime that we need to get access to the water spigot. Note the grooves here on the deck board. Uh, that's where 3D printing is gonna come in. Remember the grooves on the bottom of the deck board I said uh, to remember for 3D printing. So this is the design that I'm trying uh, out to start with. Uh, that's going to help be able to hold the deck board piece uh, for the access point uh, in place. So this is a uh, printed in Bamboo Lab uh, Basic Red Pet G. And for the first print here, it looks like it came out uh, pretty well. The bridging on uh, the PET G, it's a small section, but looks all right. So the idea is that I'll have uh, this on both sides, of course, left and right, that'll slide underneath in between the uh, support joists under the deck here, like so, uh, and then being able to hang out uh, to hold the access point piece in place. This fits in pretty well, uh, on the left side at least. So let's uh, double check on the right side as well. I wouldn't expect there to really be any size difference, but yep, that'll work too. So, all right, got a few other parts that uh, need to design to go along with it. I've designed on the uh, other side of the three-pronged uh, holder for the access point uh, deck piece to be able to have a slider uh, mechanism that that will adjust uh, on the on the other side and and then the uh, 
three pins there uh, to be able to close up uh, the other side as well. So let me demonstrate uh, what I mean here. You can see uh, there, uh, that will let me adjust how far out um, the piece is for the access point to be resting on and still have uh, enough space to reach down and turn the water uh, spigot on and off. So the part that's sliding will be um, from underneath, it'll be on the other side of the uh, deck joist. And then for the part here with the three pins, uh, in case the three-pronged part is ever pulled on, uh, that should give enough resistance to uh, be able to stop uh, so that it's not completely pulled out and just falls down the uh, access uh, opening there. So, need two of them, of course, for the left and right side, and uh, everything printed uh, well, and the slider uh, is working fine here, and the three pins uh, fit in both, so we're about ready to head back out to the deck and get everything assembled out there. There is one more printed piece uh, that's needed and this will be uh, the part that goes in the hole in the center of the uh, deck board for the access point. So let's uh, try this out and see how it works. Oh, jeez. Well, yeah, that was meant to be press fit, but I'll have to reprint that part uh, later. So let's go ahead and get uh, the, the rest of everything assembled here first. So we'll get these sliders uh, in on both sides, like so. There we go. All right, now, uh, I wasn't able to record uh, fitting on the uh, slider piece. Um, I, that took two hands, and so I couldn't record it, but I got it adjusted uh, to sit where I wanted it to, and yeah, the pins uh, just pop right in nicely for a good snug fit, and should keep everything uh, in place pretty well. So, all right, got the right side done. So, it's time to repeat on the left. Slider's already in place and go ahead and get the pins pushed in. There we are. All good to go. Let's go ahead and get the deck board access point slid into place as well. And can't believe that part snapped. Uh, have to print one more time uh, to get the job done. But there, nice fit from underneath. One of the benefits of using uh, the red PET G for these parts is the red will stand out for the access point on top of the deck as well. So that'll draw attention to it for safety. But now that I've got it reprinted, let's try again. It's got a little bit of give uh, to squeeze to it. So instead of pushing it all in at once like I did last time, uh, I'll try and work it in easier now and let's it does stick uh, underneath the board a little bit so helps to have it uh, with the opening under there we go all right with the four prongs two on each side that helps uh, give enough uh, room there to grip in the groove under the deck board and getting it positioned in place and ah not too bad. Yeah, that's going to be a lot simpler to turn the water on and off and get access to the hose instead of crawling underneath. So I'm already happy about it. Now 
Now let's see what it looks like uh, walking up onto the deck. So, yeah, the red circle with the pet G for the access point really stands out. And you can definitely tell that something's there. So just open it up and it's ready to go when uh, need to use the hose. You'll also note, uh, just for extra caution, I did put uh, some wood blocks underneath as well for extra support. This little section uh, for the access point is right up next to the wall of the house as well. It just makes uh, so much more convenient uh, to be able to turn the water on and off and get the hose uh, on and off uh, as needed. So uh, thanks for watching.